my name is Sean Williams. Uh, this work is all screen printed on uh, construction materials. Uh, the work really came about from uh, some research I had done in graduate school, you know, looking at a lot of uh, imagery from old how-to books. Um, I think the first thing that I was attracted to was I, I found an image of a, of a painter showing the how to do brush strokes or roll, roll a pattern and, and start from finish to end. And I remember when I saw that image from this uh, instructional catalog, um, it reminded me of images that I've seen of artists in process. Uh, you know, I think back on you know, artists like Jasper Johns and it would show him uh, in the process of making a painting. And there was something about it that struck a chord with me, the idea, um, you know, and, and really relating to my background personally of having a, a father and grandfather that, that were both blue collar, worked with their hands, um, uh, worked in construction. You know, my dad uh, uh, worked in construction his whole life. I worked with him one summer. I think of myself as a printmaker. I work with images, I'm image-based, um, but what was important with uh, trying to work with materials, what I was inter most interested in, is trying to make, um, to push into sculpture, to make these images objects. In some ways, conceptually, I think that was important, the idea of trying to objectify uh, the worker, the person in process. Um, so getting them off the flat plane of, of maybe traditional paper, I think, was important that way. Um, there's a lot of times when, I, I, when I'm working with my work, sometimes I'll start with the image first or the material first. In this case, um, I'd always been interested in um, working with an image on metal and having it bent. Uh, I remember working in the studio one time to have to fix and maintain something. I had to bend some metal and to fabricate something to, to fix a piece of equipment. And it, I stole some, not stole, but I just took a piece of metal that was laying around the, the studio that I already had you know, something on it, it was like a sign painting, you know, uh, thing, like a, an old sign that had been cut up. And when I bent it, you know, I saw the image and how it was transformed by the shape that I bent it in, and I was like, oh, that's great, I want to do that with a piece of, of my work. Um, and then I found an image, uh, you know, this form where the, the worker is carrying uh, what's called a hod, where they, they carry bricks uh, in that tool. And so, it kind of took that marriage of the idea of something that I wanted to bend and I've been looking forward to bending an image on metal, but it made sense with this um, where he becomes a part of that form now. Uh, you know, so I'll screen print on the flat metal, um, then work on bending that once it's, once it's printed. Uh, but it really, it, it lies in the fact that I want to merge that image and material and make it one, you know, objectify uh, that worker, uh, elevate uh, the worker into an object. With pieces like this in, in my work, uh, you know, is where I think I, I a lot of times I'm most successful when the, the piece um, breaks out into more of a, what I would consider sculptural, um, where you know it, it pushes out into space or it, it breaks again that, that two dimensional image and, and really works as an object. Um, What's maybe good with this work to, to maybe talk about that I think it hopefully has some humor to it or something that happens a lot in my work is the idea of um, really kind of watching what's happening in the image and using that as a, a, a basis for what I might do in the piece or the sculpture, uh, the object combined. So, you know, it's very literal in the sense that um, the people in the image are, you know, kind of pushing up or holding a, a, a structured that they're raising and, and starting to install on a building, you know, and I'm using that to kind of play off what the object is doing, you know, the idea of that tension of uh, going up, but, you know, being part way up, um, you know, I think is interesting to be able to break that image in, into the to space that way. Um, also, um, I don't know if you can zoom in on this, but one of the things that I fell in love with uh, years ago with the idea of taking these images that are, um, uh, again, photographic images that are printed with halftone images, once you expand and make them a lot larger than they were traditionally in a, in a small book or, you know, photo that I may have been taken that, you know, 
again, are typically in, in a book form, very small. Once you start to blow them up and make them larger, it's, it's an aesthetic that I, you know, I've grown to really love. Those dots um, really, I think, you know, have grown more and more important in my work where you might even lose what the image is or you know, when you look closer, you, know, you might not be able to tell that it's a person anymore, but those shapes and those dots, I think, are as, as something I'm reaching for aesthetically that I've grown to love. Um, you know, so you know, I'm taking things out of context, too, uh, with the idea of changing the scale. Uh, and that's something visually that I've, I've really enjoyed that aesthetic. And you know, I think even later in my work, I could see making it even larger, um, making it more kind of abstract, you might say, um, with kind of losing maybe what, what's happening, but it's just interesting uh, shapes and, and uh, those dots kind of making up something new. For this type of work, and I've done a few pieces here where I think uh, it's a little bit more uh, about how we view work uh, socially uh, in our culture and how we, how important it is, uh, but how it's sometimes not seen as that important. Um, you know, I sometimes envision having a piece like this in a setup where you know you could see it in a uh, in a kitchen or dining room that has the kind of wainscoting, or, or you know, I think of like a you know a, a southern. Uh, house, you know, that maybe you know was a plantation style that you know had you know workers that you know were slaves or, or workers right after slavery was uh, abolished and you know where they're still um, you know working the land but weren't really making the profits from it. Um, you know, so I start to think about those types of things when I'm, I'm printing these images of, of groups of workers in a field. Uh, and I'm hoping that some of that stuff comes across by printing on these uh, materials. You know, this would be kind of everyday materials that would be in a, in a home um, that somebody might be eating and be around all the work that people were doing, but not doing any of the work themselves. Uh, so I want people to start to question those things and, and how what they value. Um, and, you know, I'm trying to address some, some social issues with pieces like this. Um, and that's why I'm printing on materials. I hope that um, this being printed on uh, these materials rather than paper, um, people will be able to identify or question uh, what this work is about a little bit.